Hey guys, this is Bea from Responsive News, and in this video I'm going to show you a new free resource. It's called iComoon. iComoon is a growing library of icon packs. You can have the premium packs or you can have the free packs. So in this video I'm going to talk about just the free packs, okay? So this is the library. And how it works here, you can find libraries like the own iComoon library, Halcons, Material Icons, Font Awesome. All of this might sound familiar, but there are other more like line icons, Afiado, Iconic, there's a whole bunch of them. So how I use this? The thing is that when I design, I usually, I normally use the same icons. So I might, for example, the social media icons or the home icon. But the thing is that maybe I just like how, uh, from Font Awesome, I like the Facebook icon and the home icon, uh, like how it looks in, in material icons. So here you can actually get to choose which icon, single icons you want to download. So you don't have to download the whole set. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay. So first thing is this is the library. So you can start adding which sets, which packs do you want to browse. So for example, we have the first one, icon free here. So I'm going to start selecting the icons that I like. So these three here, and I'm going to minimize this. And I have also material icons here. So I'm going to select other icons too. Scroll down so we can go back to the library and start selecting another, another set. Like for example, let's say line icons. Okay, I'm just going to randomly select them. Okay, let's say you're done. And as you see here below, you have some different options. You have the generate SVG and more, and then generate font. So what we're gonna do to install it into Muse is we're gonna generate the font. So click here, generate font. And here you have all the icons that I've selected. So now I'm going back here. So before download, go to the options and make sure uh, this download, this icon support Internet Explorer, eight seven and six okay so i'm just going to download it so when you download it you get a zip file unzip it i've already unzipped mine and it's actually here i've had this file prepared from before so the icons might not be the same that i've selected right now so now here when you open the file you see all these files here all these folders so what's important is the fonts here so now in Muse, open Muse, and we're going to File, Add, Remove Web Fonts. Okay, so I'm going to click on Add Fonts. And what we can do is we can locate the folder or we can drag and drop. I'm going to drag and drop. So what we need is these three formats here. So I'm going to select them and just drag it. So just click here and click on continue. Great. So just click on OK. So the thing is that how do you know which icon is the, the Facebook icon or which icon is the, the club? So this is pretty easy. When you download the file, the folder, you have this demo HTML. So make sure you keep this in a safe place and don't delete it, okay? This is like kind of like a, a cheat sheet. So I'm going to double click here and you'll find the icons that you've selected. So this might sound a bit weird, but what you have to copy is this little square that you can find below the icon. So for example, I'm going to I want to use this icon face here. So what I'm going to do is copy, sorry, copy this little square here. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to bring it into Muse. So this is the tool, the text tool. I'm going to copy it. Right now you just see a square, but what you have to go is here to the text tool and select 
and say sorry it's and select icomoon as a web font so right now it's a web font and what you can do is bring up the size and change the color I'm going to show you another one for example so I'm going to go down and I'm going to copy the bug I'm going to copy it same thing bring it into Muse this is my text tool and copy it here so now we're going to this text panel and select icon same thing it works as an icon so bring up the size as much as you want and add some color okay so i hope this tutorial is useful thank you guys for watching